Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use scopes to clean up your Power Automate flows. If you enjoy SharePoint Teams Power Automate PowerPoint videos, feel free to subscribe because I'll be putting out more videos in those areas. So let's get into the video. So a scope in Power Automate allows you to group a bunch of actions together and pretty much simply make your power, uh, flows look easier to read because if you get into those flows where you have like 30 steps, it can get hard to navigate around it and kind of know what's going on. And I'm going to show that using my marketing CSV report. So I have a smaller flow, but as you can see, I'm, it looks like I'm collecting, I'm clicking a button in Power Apps, collecting some data from Power Apps, creating a file, and then sending back a shareable link. So I'm just going to use a scope to kind of organize this flow. Because right now, you, if you're good at Power Automate, you know what's going on, but for like a a user that's kind of new to Power Automate, it can be a little difficult reading what's going on. So I'm going to add an action. And if you type scope, you're able to get the scope control. So the definition of scope, encapsulate a block of actions and inherit the last terminal status of actions inside. Let's grab this scope right here. And I'm actually going to rename it because I want to kind of put everything that I grab all the parameters from Power Apps in here. So I'm just going to rename this data from Power Apps. And I'm going to drag this data inputs because this is what I get from Power Apps. And if I had another uh, data from Power Apps, so if I had like another composer right here, if I was grabbing the user email, um, this would be asking Power Apps. So this would be like email. I'm only grabbing data, so I will only work with that. So if we close up this scope, we can now do, um, I'm going to group the select and create CSV. So I'm going to add another scope here. And this looks like it's grabbing the data and creating CSV. Grabbing data and we'll do selecting data. All right, so if I drag these two actions inside here, and if I close this up, now you can see how it looks better already. You now we have the data from Power Apps, so you have all the steps for that. Then you have all the data for selecting the data and then creating the CSV. So now we'll create another scope, and this will be for the file creation and send back to Power Apps. Actually, I'll probably just do the file creation, and I'll just leave the respond to Power Apps at the end so they know that the the flow actually responds to Power Apps with the uh, file link. This will be create file plus shareable link. And if I drag these in here, now you can see, hey, we have a nice simple flow and easy to read what's going on. You know, we're looking at Power Apps. Someone, a user clicks a button of Power Apps, we're having the data for Power Apps. You can see all the steps, select the data and create the CSV. You can see all the steps right here. And if you create a file, you can see all the steps and then you respond to uh, flow or power apps. So scopes are like a really nice, easy way to group a bunch of actions together. Let me see if I can find another flow that we can use. All right, so I have another flow right here, power apps collection to power automate. So it's something similar. So I'm just gonna do a few more scopes for you. If we go in, add another scope. In this flow, I actually do collect a collection of data. Then I also do collect the user email, and these are both composed statements. So we can say gathering data from Power Apps, and it looks like we're parsing some JSON and creating an HTML table. Let's go ahead and add some, add these two in here. So this would be um, parsing data and creating HTML table. And then we have a send an email. So scopes come really in handy when you have like a flow with 10 to, 10 to like plus steps. Uh, scopes can group all that data together and make it easier for you to read. So that'll be the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions involving scopes, leave them in the comments down below. If you have any video ideas, uh, feel free to like the video if you liked it. And I will catch you in the next one.